What's up guys, Moonlight150 here with today's battle. It's a rather quick battle, it's an RE battle against Shanu7. Anyway, so let's get started here. He is going to be- I'm going to be leading off with Gliger. Which is my special- which is my defensive set. It's defense and special defense with an EV, with an EV Light. He's going to leave off with uh, Typhlosion. He's going to go for that lead eruption, you know, because what other- what else does Typhlosions like to do? Anyway, so he's going to do way over- wow, that- Hurt a lot. Am I more special defense invested than defense? I know I have evil light, but geez, that did a lot. It has to be choice, whatever eruption is. I don't know, ban specs. I have no idea. Anyway, so Glyger goes down after setting up the rocks, and I'm gonna bring in Sharpedo now to go to. It's called illegal stuff. I wonder if it's legal. Huh. Anyway, so I'm going- so he's gonna go for that eruption again. Should not be able to take out my Sharpedo since I do resist it, but it's gonna do a lot in the long run. And I'm gonna go for that Earthquake. I don't know why I didn't go for the Brutech so I can get like a speed boost going, but you know. I thought maybe I could- nah, wait, it's, I probably can't as but thankfully the Earthquake does take out the Typhlosion in one hit. Since I am Life Orb and Shark- Card Shark's only gonna get one more attack after this, but with its speed boost it might be able to outspeed whatever comes in. So he's going to bring a Hitmonchan, and I believe I go for the Waterfall. Now he's going to go for the Mock Punch to finish me off. Never mind. So that's two of my Pokemon already down to kind of cheap tactics, but, you know, that's how it goes. Anyway, so I'm going to bring in Medicham here, because, you know, Medicham is amazing like that in RU. Uh, it's going to go for that Psycho Cut. I turn out to be faster, because Medichams are pretty fast. Uh, Hitmonchan's not going to take that. He's going to be knocked out of here. So, it goes Hitmonchan, I should have split this up, but it's only a four minute battle, it's... Alright. Anyway, in comes Honchkrow, and thankfully I do carry the Ice Punch and the Thunder Punch on here, so when it comes to situations like this, I just have to decide which one's gonna be more effective, the Thunder or the Ice Punch. N neither of them are stabs, so... And both are super effective, so I go for the Thunder Punch just to be different, and it's gonna take out that Honchkrow in one hit, because you know I'm Life Orb, Adamant, Sheer Force, all that other good stuff. Anyway, so it's gonna bring in Sceptile now, and this is a... Uh, Opportunity to go for the Ice Punch since that is super effective. But it's actually gonna be faster and go for the Leaf Blade, and it's actually gonna be powered by the Grass Gem. So this is gonna hurt. I so prefer what Leaf Blade looked like in third gen. I I like that animation. Anyway, that Grass Powered Leaf Gem is gonna take out Menchim. I don't know if that Grass Gem mattered, but I think it might have. So I'm gonna bring in Charizard now. I'm gonna go for the Flamethrower, but he actually turns out to still be faster. He's gonna go for that Acrobatics. And that does almost around half. I'm suddenly green, so it's not exactly half. I'm gonna go for the air slash, interestingly enough. I don't know why. Should have gone for maybe I predicted him to switch out because of the obvious flamethrower, and I could just use air slash on whatever would come in. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my leftovers. But thankfully that air slash did take out the Sceptile. He's gonna bring Galvantula now, obviously wants to go for the Thunder. He's gonna take some rocks damage. So I'm very decent with rocks damage. Uh, he's gonna go for the Thunder, and he actually lands that. I don't think I live. Charizards are not that special defense bulky. Nope. So Charizard's gonna go down. Why Charizard ever last a couple more than a couple rounds? Anyway, I'm gonna bring in Porygon Z now. My overload. He's gonna get the download going on because you know Porygons are cool like that. Get the special attack raise. Gonna go for the thunder. I should be able to take at least one of those. And look, ah, ow! I just barely, but I go for that try attack now. You know, all that stab and other good stuff. And that is going to take out Galvantula. So it's pretty uh, straightforward match right now. Nothing really too big going on here. But he's going to bring in Empoleon now, which, he, which is a UU Pokemon, as everyone knows. I guess he didn't know. I think I informed him right after the battle that Empoleon is UU. But it doesn't uh, turn out to be a major deciding factor in this battle. I'm going to go for that Dark Pulse. I forgot that Steel Resist Dark, but got some damage on it. Could have gone for another Tri Attack or something, but... Um, I'm going to be gone because of my own Life Orb recoil, and he's gonna not going to scald on anyone. And I, yeah, I'm going to bring an Archeops here, my Hang Glider. And I think I'm just going to go for the Earthquake, and that is enough to take out this Empoleon. So good game, Shanu, and hope everyone likes, comments, subscribes, all that other good stuff. And I guess I will see you guys on the next battle. I'm going to be uh, working on some other videos here in the meantime, and I will see you guys later. Bye.